Hi everyone, um, so I am coming at you with a video basically on the swastika, about the swastika. Um, I'm not claiming to know everything about the swastika, but um, I, my mother sent me a text message um, this afternoon and she basically was like, oh, dig the swazi on your bedroom door. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So I like put it on Facebook and there was just a huge mass debate on, um, you know, like people saying, are oh, you a racist? How dare you? I don't know if they said that. I can't, I, I tried to read all the comments, but there's so many. Um, others are like, you're a fucking idiot. Um, it's not a Nazi symbol, you know, do like do some reading up on it, educate yourself, all of this. And then people were talk, talking about bloody grammar and all this shit. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to do like a video to kind of help you people understand <laughs> a little bit better. Cause I have, it's a sticker. And I got it off my friend, my best friend, and he gave it to me. Um, to put, I haven't put it up anywhere yet, so I put it there. And people see it on my video, and they're like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you're a racist, and are you a Nazi, and all of this." And you know, I tell them to go and research the swastika, because um, that's what it's called. Now, I don't know if it's correct or not, but when people say, "Oh, it's not a Nazi symbol," it is a Nazi symbol in the sense that the Nazis have adopted it and did adopt it and did use it. But it isn't a Nazi symbol, if that makes sense. Like it's been around a lot longer than a lot of people actually realise. All you quite literally have to do is Google, and I'm doing it right now, Google swastika. Number one is swastika Wikipedia. Number two that comes up is history of the swastika. Number three is BBC News, origins of the swastika. Number four is reclaimthesswastika.com. Okay, so I would probably say the first two and the fourth are the best links to go on. So I'm going to open them up now. And I'm going going to show you. Right, so the swastika, it has a meaning in Sanskrit as well. Sanskrit, I think, is one of, is one of the, or not, if not, the oldest uh, form of, of writing. Um, it's an equilateral cross with his arms bent at a right angle okay either facing right or facing left okay um, and basically um, it's been found as far back as like 3,000 years ago um, it's widely used in uh, Hinduism Buddhism and Jainism I think I pronounced that that right um, it's a geometrical sign, okay, it's very geometrically correct, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure there's a mathematical sort of equation to it as well. Um, this word swastika, however, came from the Sanskrit word svastika, S-V, not S-W, meaning lucky or um, auspicious object. So, in particular, a mark made on persons or things to denote good luck. So, really, it's a good luck symbol. Su meaning um, good, uh, good or well. Asti is to be. So, therefore, the sva, um, svasti means well-being. And the suffix, a suffix is a little bit, they just stick on the end of a word for whatever. It's, it just... I don't know what it does. Apparently, it, it creates a verbal meaning. Um, so it's like, and then it's associated with well-being and with like good luck. And um, a lot of times, people give it different names. Like there are different names for it depending on the religion um, and the not the religion. Well, I guess the religion, the um, sort of civilization that uses it. Um, I'm trying to sort of find some more stuff, but it, I swear to God, if you go on the on the thing, that it is all over the place. Um, history of the swastika. Um, yeah, it's been used for over three thousand years. It pre 
dates, even predates ancient Egyptian symbol. You know the Anka or the Ankh, whatever it's called. Um, it's even been found on pottery and coins from ancient Troy. So um, the cultures and that that use it go from like China, Japan, India, Southern Europe. Um, basically, it was called by a load of different names. I'm not going to try and pronounce them in case I get them wrong. Um, but it's it's all there for you guys to read. It's it is there. It's it's got such a good, a good joyful, happy, you know, good, just good meaning it really does obviously when the Nazis when German sort of Germany took it over it was because I reckon if you think about it Hitler was like he was a perfectionist wasn't he he wanted like a perfect world perfect civilization perfect everything the swastika was a symbol of like not perfection but happiness joy luck all of this stuff and he took that, he took that and used that as his symbol, so essentially he was, do you know what I mean? But because of what they did to the Jews and everything, it really, really, really has brought it down. Now, I have swastikas tattooed on me. Um, my tattoo artist, Mark Boyle, from Nothing Sacred Tattoo, is um, a great believer in, in, you know, the purity of the symbol. Um, him and a lot of other people are. Um, uh, man woman is a guy who is completely and utterly covered in swastikas he's just apparently he's just such a great guy so definitely research man woman research the there was honestly there are so many absolutely so many tattoo artists body modifi like body modifiers um spiritual people religious people um you know, people that truly believe in the, in the true meaning of this symbol, that um, it, it, it'll astound you as to how many people out there actually know about it. And we are trying to get, we're trying to get the meaning of this symbol out there. So, you know, don't bash people if they don't know what it is. And if I post something with a swastika on it, like, if somebody goes, oh my god, you're racist, I never knew that. Don't be like, oh, you fucking idiot, she's not a racist, you know, go and educate yourself. Don't do that, you know. Just say to them, look, I'm not sure if you're aware, but originally the swastika was used way before, you know, the Nazis took it over and adopted it. Educate people, don't be nasty. The whole idea of the swastika is peace and love and unity and, and harmony and all of that jazz. So don't go and, like, bash people who don't know. You'd be surprised how many people don't know. And it's not because they're bad people. It's just because that's what that's what they've been taught. They haven't been taught at school that the swastika is a good thing. They've been taught that the Nazis are bad. And this is the symbol that you associate with the Nazis, which is quite true. So, um, you know, go out there. Educate yourself. Um, educate other people. Um, and... You know, I don't know, get a t-shirt made. This is not a Nazi symbol. There are, there's the website out there already. I mean, go to visit reclaimthesvastika.com. Go and read up about it. Go and have a look. Go and see what the symbol is in the history. Go and check photos out. And, you know, it's amazing. You'll be amazed at how much is out there and, and, and whatnot. And look around. Look around in your everyday life. I live in, I live and work in Newcastle. And I was in Newcastle City Centre a couple of Sundays ago and um, I was in Eldon Square for those of you who know, it's a big shopping centre. Anyways, I went out to go and get cash and on my way back in I was looking down at the, you know, the non-slip mats that you have when they come into big shopping centres. And I was like, oh my freaking god, um, it's swastikas and the whole entire floor, let me see if I'm quickly, I've got like a few seconds left to film. The whole entire rubbery part of that was, oh fuck my phone's not going to work now because it's a bitch. Right, okay. I will try and put the picture in at the end. Seriously, right? Post this video on everybody's page. Let everybody know. Go to all these websites. Check it out. Research swastika in art, in pottery, in clothing, in religion, in, you know, different civilizations. Uh, fill your brain with knowledge and just, you know, fill your heart with love and spread that love, spread that joy and spread the true meaning of the swastika. Because 
that, that boy, that means peace.